Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. I'm in my truck heading down a road in western Kentucky, and I wanted to share a day of filming with you. I started the day out planning to film a 36-row John Deere DB90 corn planter, which you saw at the opening of this video, and we'll see more of later in the video. As I was heading out to the field to see the big corn planter, I passed a 1999 Case IH 9380 quad track and a 42 and a half foot Kraus field cultivator heading down the road. This classic tractor is a little bit harder to find these days, so I turned around and followed that to the field to start my filming. During this video, you'll see a full day of big tractor power filming. Sometimes I have an exact plan of what I'm going to see, and then other times different machines pop up that are just too good to pass up to film to show to you here on YouTube. So we'll see this big quad track and then some John Deere tractors working on spring corn planting, as well as a forge harvester taking off that first cutting of rye to get the spring started on a dairy farm. So let's head out to the field to see all these big farm machines in action. The first stop of the day started out with this 1999 Case IH 9380 quad track tractor. It's a 400 horsepower machine and is pulling a 42 and a half foot wide Krauss field cultivator. This equipment is running over soybean ground that was harvested in the fall during some muddy conditions and the field cultivator is being used to turn over the weeds and grass that grew up in the spring and to smooth out the field for corn planting. After filming the quad track, I headed back to track down the John Deere DB90 corn planter. And as I arrived at the field, the same farm with the big 36 row planter also uses a 24 row 30 inch space John Deere DB60 planter pulled by a 520 horsepower John Deere 9520RX tractor on narrow tracks. This tractor and planter are no-tilling corn into the field, which was soybeans in the fall, and now the new corn crop is going in with this big 60-foot wide corn planter. Working directly across the road from the John Deere DB60 corn planter that was no-tilling was the farm 620 horsepower John Deere 9620RX tractor pulling a 55-foot wide John Deere 2210 field cultivator. 
This farm practices a variety of planting methods. They no-till some of their fields and also use traditional tillage on other fields depending on the soil condition. This big tractor and field cultivator are smoothing out the ground and firming up the seedbed after primary tillage with a chisel plow in the fall. Following just a few passes behind the John Deere 9620RX and 2210 field cultivator is the farm's other 520 horsepower John Deere 9520RX narrow track tractor operating a 90 foot wide 36 row 30 inch spaced corn planter. This big corn planter can plant up to 700 acres a day and can cover quite a bit of ground and is a very exciting piece of machinery to see at work planting corn. After a full day of filming spring tillage and corn planting, I was able to track down a 750 horsepower Crone Big X V12 self-propelled forge harvester chopping rye. Many dairy farms in western Kentucky raise rye as a forage crop to feed their dairy cows. The rye is planted in the fall following the corn silage harvest and then chopped off in the very early spring in April to make way for another crop of corn to be no-tilled over the rye.
One last surprise on this nice April spring day of filming was a versatile 875 articulated four-wheel drive tractor working on the dairy farm to push the silage rye up in the bunk to ferment to become feed for the dairy cows. This 1978 875 is rated at 280 engine horsepower. I hope you've enjoyed spending this nice spring day out in the field with me, seeing all this big farm machinery at work. What is your favorite part of spring? Is it the smell of freshly turned earth during those first passes of tillage, seeing corn planters putting the new crop in the ground, or the smell of fresh cut grass or alfalfa as the first chopping takes place? Tell me about it in the comment section below. I'd also like to hear what your favorite piece of farm machinery was in this video. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching. 